How's it going there, guys? I'm uh, back again with another one of my uh, today's football cards. I'm gonna go through some of these oldies but goodies here. Uh, I don't have as many of these as I do uh, with the baseball, but let's go through what we got here. New York Jets, my team. Um, the Sad Sack Jets. It's been a rough ride for the last 35, whatever, 36 years following these guys. <laughs> so, all right. We have, I believe this is like Topps 1984 cards. So, let's check some of these out here. Freeman McNeil, one of my favorite all-time Jets. Wesley Walker, great receiver. He was legally blind in uh, one of his eyes. Amazing story. He had a great career. Played about 12, 13 years old with the Jets. Kirk Springs, Johnny Lamb Jones. Number one pick in 1980, I believe. 81? I think it was 80. And uh, he never really lived up to his potential. Bruce. Bruce was a good player. Fan favorite. Pat Leahy, longtime kicker. This one I have some on the backs, which I didn't have as much with the baseball cards. Here's some uh, giant team leaders. Billy White Shoes Johnson there. Dexter Manley with his Mr. T Mohawk. Lyle Alzado. Good player. Played a long time. Died sadly of cancer. Um, he went public about talking about steroids and stuff like that. Thinking that had something to do with his death. He was probably one of the early ones to bring that to the attention. Um, you know, like public attention. So... All right, just jumps ahead a little bit here. This is 1989 tops. Uh, probably 1990, because it would be based on the 89 season. Tony Eason played with the Jets in 89 for a little bit, very little bit. It's Pat Leahy again. Johnny Hector. There's my man Freeman again. I loved him. Ooh, another favorite old jet of mine, Al Toon. I had Al Toon jersey back in uh, late 80s. Great player. Career ended because of concussions. Blair Thomas. He was the number two pick in 1990. Uh, never amounted to much. Definitely was a bust. Oh, another bust. Roger Beck. The first round bust for the Jets. Continue. <laughs> so... So you'll see with these, uh, unlike the baseball, this is more like just sets. Like this whole book, because I looked through it before I went filming here. And um, what happened was um, they're like, I must have had another book with the NFC. Because this is all like, this is basically the NFC team, or the AFC teams. And it's almost like entire sets of guys. And I don't know uh, where the NFC teams are. It's just mostly all AFC teams, so... Dennis Bird here, of course, famously in 1992, tragically uh, was paralyzed when he collided uh, with Scott Mercero, I think it was, 1992, and uh, he never played again. Did walk again, which they never said he would, uh, which was very emotional. He walked out on the field in 1993 at the start of the season, got a huge standing ovation, but uh, I think he was killed a few years ago in a car accident. Buffalo Bells, Jim Kelly, Thurman Thomas. Got some great players here. Yeah, Bruce Smith. What else to say about him? Scott Norwood, wide right. Steve Tasker, nice little mullet. Don Beebe. I was not a, being a Jet fan, obviously, I disliked Buffalo. Same with the uh, Dolphins and Patriots. And I guess to a lesser extent, the Colts. Colts used to be in the AFC East years ago when I was a kid. But, uh, you know, certainly always have, I have a good respect for guys, you know, who could play the game. So, Courtney Bennett. Yeah, we'll see you all uh, Buffalo here. Larry Kinneborough. I don't have much memory of him on Buffalo. I remembered him on the Bengals. But there he is. So, that's them. Miami Dolphins, Danny Marino, Reggie Roby, Pete Stojanovic, the kicker, Jim Jensen, jack of all trades. That guy played like special teams. Yeah, wide receiver, running back. I think he was always like the third string or emergency quarterback. 
We did it all. <laughs> we know what we're wearing with that haircut there. Classic uh, boys to men, little early 90s look there. Mark Clayton. For a Wedman's tight end. So, yeah, we will go through the rest of the Dolphins and then the Colts. Then I got guys in the AFC Central and AFC West, and that's about it. So, we'll just kind of breeze through here without me commenting on everybody. Yeah, unless we get to like specific guys with a story. Jeff George, the number one pick for the Colts in 90. They traded for him. I don't think they had the first pick. They traded maybe with Atlanta for that pick. Because the Colts weren't even that terrible team in 88. Or I mean 89. But So, Andre Risen. Now with Falcons. That is not Andre Risen. Hmm. That, it says it's him. He was on the Colts in 1989 and was traded to Atlanta. You know, actually, it's funny. It just came full circle. That was probably the trade. It was Andre Risen and maybe another player or a draft pick uh, for that number one pick that they used on Jeff George. But that's not Andre Risen. That's another guy. I'm almost positive. Could be a mistake there. So, anyway. We move on. More Colts. Get uh, two rows here at a time. Check out as we move on to the Patriots. Again, this is Tops 1990 cards. You know, these pictures are from 1980 to the 89 season. So, Mark Wilson. He was a Raider mostly. You don't really remember him with the Patriots. Steve Grogan, I definitely remember. Yeah, for years it was Grogan and Eason. For the Patriots quarterbacks. They had Doug Flutie, too, early in Flutie's career. And then, like, 20 years later, he went back to New England and retired there. But didn't remember Mark Wilson. That's weird. So, And Houston Oilers, Warren Moon, Hall of Fame quarterback, great player. Houston Oilers had a great offense around this time, the old run-and-shoot offense, I remember. Uh, Jerry Glanville was the coach. What was his name? Mouse Davis? I think that guy ran the offense. And I think he was the Detroit Lions offensive coordinator, Mouse Davis. They also ran a run and shoot. It was somebody else for Houston, but anyway. Bubba. So, yeah, a couple more pages here. More Oilers. Boomer. Norman Esaias and pride of East Isle of Long Island. That's about 20 minutes away from where I live in Babylon, Long Island, New York. He grew up uh, not far away. Icky Woods, do the Icky Shuffle. So, got some uh, more Bengals here. And uh, I believe after this, we're gonna go on to Pittsburgh. It's gotta be the Pittsburgh or Cleveland next. Pittsburgh, Bobby Brista. Ended up also playing with the Eagles, the Jets, a couple other teams into the 90s. Gary Anderson, long-time place kicker for Pittsburgh. Lou Lips, good wide receiver for a long time with them. Rod Woodson, Hall of Fame player, great player. Mike Malarkey. And here are the rest of the Steelers. We will just go through them quick here. Tom Chilkin, the guy I played for like 20 years. Offensive lineman. And who else here? As we move on to Cleveland, Ozzy Newsom. A long, long time Cleveland Brown. And then when they moved to Baltimore, he stayed with the organization. And uh, came their general manager and... Um, but he was really a Cleveland Brown. The, the Cleveland Browns have moved to Baltimore. So, so he has some more Cleveland guys. Kevin Mack, Webster Slaughter, very good receiver. Brian Brennan, David Grayson, 
And eh, most of these names, most of these guys, it comes right back. Clay Matthews, of course, his son. Long-time player for the uh, Packers. A lot of these names come back to me. You know, some, though, it's like, whoa. They just totally draw a blank. Bo Jackson, as we move from Cleveland to the Raiders. This was that little stint when they were the L.A. Raiders in the uh, 80s, very early 90s. Bo definitely knew football. We talked about him in my baseball card uh, video. Tim Brown, quite a noted name. Won a Heisman in 87, I think. Yeah, and was drafted by the Raiders in 88. Great player. Speaking of great players, Marcus Allen. So, I know we're nearing the end here, so. Just go through some more Raiders. Scott Davis. Looks like, looks like a bigger Val Kilmer there, doesn't he? He doesn't ring a bell at all, but that face. Yeah, striking resemblance to Val Kilmer. So, the rest of the Raiders, Willie Galt, longtime Chicago Bear. He was on the 85 Bears. Jeff Yeager, a kicker. Howie Long. Loved Howie Long. Steve DeBerg as we move into the Chiefs here. Kansas City Chips. Lowry, long-time place kicker for the Chiefs. Derek Thomas, top super rookie. Yeah, he passed away tragically a bunch of years ago. He was a great player. Remember, he had like six or seven sacks one game against the Seahawks. So, oh, yeah, and then hockey cards. There's a few more pages here, but it's hockey cards, actually, which I have even less of. Um, so, just very quickly, I'll go through this. Mark Messier here, Rangers. That looks like 92, 93, Fleer. Kind of like, say, Kovalev. Yeah, I actually was a bigger hockey fan, uh, probably than anything, for a long time there in the 90s. But I have so few hockey cards. Just a few. This is taken in. Ended up being one of about 19 former Edmonton Oilers that went to the Rangers. Uwe Krupp. So, a little bonus here, but uh, that's about it. Not much else going on, so. All right. Hope I didn't bore you guys too much with this. And uh, I definitely still have some more baseball cards to go through, like I said. I have uh, a couple more whole books of score, 1989 and 90, so. I'll put that up here one of these days. Take care, guys.